YouTube, what's good, bro? Have a great day so far. Happy Friday. Um, I'm a little sweaty right now because I just played ball with my little brother. We're one on one in a series, so we're about to go another game. I need to get a haircut, but that was terrible. Uh, we're about to play another game. Um, we're one on one, and we're gonna play the three. Um, best out of three. So second game, I gotta get it done. I gotta come on top. First game, he came out shooting because he's been shooting all day. And the second game, I came back a little bit. I had to play a little bit of bully ball to catch up. Actually, I'm not gonna lie. And now we're about to play third game, and this is the final breaker. I finally feel like I have my jump shot. So now I'm about to annihilate, hopefully, hopefully. That was fun. Played game two. I won by two. Had a really good streak going in and then kind of slowed down towards the end and he caught up a little bit. He was hitting some weird hot shots, bro. I don't know why he was hitting them, but whatever. That was fun. Whew. For me right now, I'm enjoying the moment while I'm, you know, while I'm ahead. Yes, I'm gonna slow down and he's gonna speed up, but at the end of the day, it can't stop me from still having fun with him. Um, so yeah, let's say you stay active. Enjoying certain activities that you see your kids doing and just or your siblings doing just being part of that journey, being part of that process um, and just showing them that you can have fun while doing this. It's not just all about being serious and serious, like, bro, enjoy it, play it, have fun, bet against each other, you know, soft, small stuff like that. Um, but yeah, that was fun. I go shower, eat, and then continue walking. Peace. All right, so going to this workout, I changed things up a little bit. And remember, if you're watching this, subscribe down below. So going to this one, I went for chest and back, and I started with dumbbell flat bench press, which I was able to superset with a dumbbell single arm row, and I went for four sets of six to 10. And I know you're like, that's a lot of volume, but the weight wasn't really that much. I warmed up with 75 pounds, and then I went up by 20 and 95 pounds, and I kept it like that for like the last three sets. So 75 pounds for warm up, 95 for my working sets. And yeah, basically I got a good pump, got a good feel, and I didn't really go too much. I didn't really push too much. But my mind to muscle was very engaging during this exercise, doing this workout, and doing this entire routine, to be honest with you. This actually was a really good workout, especially since I haven't really superset anything in the past few weeks. And to get back into that phase, get back into that mode, is going to be really fun. And I'm really excited for it. And then from there on, we went to the Smith Machine flat bench press, and we superset that with the machine row. And again, superset was really the story of the day today. We went from machine row for 12 reps, and really just kept it at one weight throughout the entire time. And then same thing with the Smith Machine um, flat bench press. Now with this one, I went from 135 to 185 to 225, and I was able to get that 6 to 10 rep range. As well as you guys can see on the side, my macros right now are currently 3,200. 
So I am eating a lot, but all my foods are basically whole foods, nutrient dense foods, which is going to help me lean out. But most importantly, lean out while able to keep that fullness look, while able to maintain that lean look, that muscle texture to where when I step on stage, I don't lose a lot of muscle mass. But I'm also very confident in like eating this way because I did it last time and it worked for me and I want to do it again. Now back to the workout. When it comes to uh, dumbbell flat bench press, the reason I like to use this machine, guys, instead of like the regular flat bench is the control, but also I'm able to really slow it down at the bottom portion, which I really love to do. And when I do it with a regular bar, yes, I can do it the same way, but the amount of weight I'll be able to push is just not there. But most importantly, I won't be able to get as many reps as I want to because stabilizer comes into play and different muscle groups come into play and that can really throw you off sometimes. So for me, I like to use this machine because it's more controlled and it's a more controlled environment, which therefore gives me the ability to really max Maximize time and attention, but most importantly, making sure I'm really focusing on my to muscle, my chest, and squeezing everything all the way through. And the same thing when it comes to the row, like row machine, any row, you want to take your time. You guys see me really stretching it out and squeezing it through. The stretch is another part of the workout that you can utilize to grow more muscle. The stretch is something I think a lot of people forgot about. Is they just go rep and rep and rep. But when you hold that stretch position for two seconds, and then you hold that contraction for two seconds, you're putting yourself in a better position to succeed most importantly to grow more muscle faster but even most importantly to get leaner muscle faster so finishing this one out after this we're going to go to the incline row which is basically a dumbbell at an incline and me just facing it to use it as like a chest support and then i'm going to have my hands really hang off the bench and you guys are going to see that whole movement i'm going to explain why i love that movement um i think it's one of the best ways to work out your back um and also put you in a position to where you're not using a lot of momentum compared to like a regular um double dumbbell standing row it's completely different but most importantly puts a emphasis really towards your mid to lower back which i love and i was able to superset that with the easy bar press and i did that for about four sets of six to ten well three sets i put i would say go to three sets but for me personally i did an extra set because i was like all right i have the energy i have the feel especially with the way i'm eating lately i feel amazing and i want to utilize that in my workouts i want to utilize that as much as possible and to really be as effective as possible in everything that i do you know because efficiency and effectiveness is everything that you really want to focus on when coming to prep um especially last prep i think that's one of the biggest things that helped me get that second and third place within my first show and this time i want to utilize that again to get my first place because i want that first place you guys know how bad i want that shit but going back it's all about the process it's all about the basics it's all about keeping it simple but also being able to utilize the basics in a way that's going to help you you know get to that next level it's going to help you get that better physique because last time when i was training i was not pausing like this i was just repping it out and but well, I learned my mistake. I was like, bro, take your time, slow it down. And you have to do that sometimes to get the best result. You don't have to rush. You don't always have to go a thousand miles an hour. It's okay to slow it down. It's okay to take your time because when you do that, you're allowing yourself to grow. You're allowing yourself to heal. You're allowing yourself to actually see what you actually need to work on as of right now. So therefore you can make sure you're in the best position later. Like I always say, create successful habits that can last you a lifetime. And I truly think patience is one of them that, you know, a lot of us need to build, a lot of us can build, and a lot of us are continuously working on. Because like one of the biggest things when it comes to self-development is a lot of people only do it for a certain period of time. But in reality, it's kind of like a forever thing because you're always going to be working on yourself. You're always going to be adjusting. You're always going to be pushing yourself forward. You're always going to be, well, challenging yourself to that next level. Um, but yeah, from here on out, we went to the incline row. And we did this for three sets of 6 to 12. Well, that's what I wrote. But eventually, I actually did four sets of 6 to 12. Um, the reason I put 6, 6 was like the minimum I can get. And 12 was like the maximum I could get. So I went for 12 in my first three, I think three sets. And then the last set, I went for 10, which is okay. But looking how I'm doing it, one thing is, you see how my chest is aligned. The reason why my chest is up so high is as I'm letting it go on the eccentric, I'm really letting the shoulders hang, stretching through those lats. And as I pull through, I'm really emphasizing that contraction by pushing my chest up and just arching my back a little bit to get that final squeeze within my mid to lower back. Again, it's a great exercise to target your mid to lower back. And I would highly, I, I, I highly recommend it into adding into your routine. Damn, I just started there. And then from there on, we superset it with the incline press. Um, when we, for this, we use the easy bar and we went as wide as possible. And the main goal here is to focus on the eccentric. Yes, I'm focusing on contracting it, but main focus is really challenging yourself in the stress position of the exercise, especially when it comes to incline. If you want to build a really good chest, you have to emphasize on the eccentric because that's really what's going to allow you to get those final muscle fibers and really tear it up, which is going to help you grow a lot more. Um, but yeah, 
fully out, stretch it all the way out, and then pressing through. We went for 15 on this one. I know I put 12, but sometimes during the set, I might feel a certain type of way, and I know where we just push out 15 to 20. You know, it happens. But that's, that's, that's the beauty of working out, you know. Sometimes you surprise yourself how strong you are, how strong you're getting. And that's why I always say, consistently go, and you will find yourself getting better, getting stronger, and reaching new heights. But with that being said, family, hope you guys enjoyed this one. This was my chest and back day. From there on, we did some posing. We're leaning out a little bit. The thing is, you could already see that um, my shape is coming back. Uh, the, my love handles are a little bit, they're fading away slowly and slowly. And I'm very confident going to the next show. Um, right now, I don't have a coach, but I will be looking for a coach soon. But I want to see how far I could take it myself because I already know what to do. It's just a matter of keeping me accountable. But I think during the season, I'm able to keep myself accountable because my first time I wanted a coach to really do that for me. But now I have my head on it and I think I can do it myself a little bit more. But we'll see. We'll see. That being said, hope you guys have a happy New Year's. Hope you enjoyed this one. Peace. Peace.